Hello. Well, we are talking about how you can build your grocery supply on budgets. And by grocery supply, we have our food supply and non-food supply. So let's talk about how you can build your food supply on budget. So when there is an emergency or a loss of income or a loss of job, unexpected event, or like what we are facing now, an outbreak, you wanted to stock up. There are things you should have in your pantry. So what are the basic food staples that you should have when you don't have a lot of money to spend? First, have a list of your groceries items and buy only what you use and eat on a regular basis. So let's talk about the food, your food supply, or the staples that you can purchase on budget. There are some basic ones, but it may not be the same thing you use. But I'm going to tell you what I use and what I usually stock up on when I build my food budget, my food supply on budget. Rice. I like to buy 25 pound rice. I think I have it back here. I can show you. It's not the rice in it, but yeah, while well, we are talking about it, I use it. I don't know I have books in it that I purchased, but I use it to go to Aldi as well. And that's 25 pound bag of rice purchased from Siam's Club at, I believe, $9.45, 25 pounds. Beans, pinto beans, I believe, is cheaper than many type of beans. So you can have, you know, a good amount of beans at home if you eat them as well. So we have rice, we have beans, potato, sweet potato, and what else? Pasta, that's very important as well. Corn meal, if you use them, you can make corn bread out of corn meal. We flour. I like to buy in bleach flour. I believe I have one over here. Five pounds. I will make sourdough pizza, sourdough bread. I will make wrap, which is the same thing as egg roll. And I will make a uh, sheet pancake. I will make on meal. I use flour. So I like to have flour on hand and I like to have eight bags by for the month if i have a little bit left over that's fine so that will just build up over time because they are heavy and i don't have a lot of space i don't stock up on it for three months but that's a good one to have at least one month worth of it so bag uh flour is this one is about a dollar 22 and because i like to buy on bleach because i don't want the bleach with many people don't go with this so if the store is out of flour look for on bleach flour and we should be able to stock up on this. What else can we get food supplies wise? Meat. In fact, no, let's talk about. So, th those that we listed are the shelf staples. And while we are talking about shelf staples, let's include some snacks as well, shall we? I'm not going to talk about um, cereals because. If you, there is an emergency, you may not have access to milk. So I don't think there is a necessity to have cereal on hand. If you can afford it, that's fine. But if you are on low budget, I will, I will exclude that out of the budget. But I will include oatmeal. It's good to have oatmeal so I can make oatmeal, cook oatmeal in the morning, you know, for breakfast. So to have oatmeal and let's talk about while we are talking about it, let's add some other things to it as well. So, those are shelf staples. Before we go to the snack area, 
let's add meat. Meat are freezer staples, meat and greens. So shop your greens from the freezer aisle, like frozen green peas, frozen sweet corns, you know, broccoli. You can shop on those and and meat you can buy you know pork chicken whatever meat that you can afford to purchase and put them in the freezer that way they won't go bad so those are what you can stock up on and for snacks i would suggest you have um popcorn kernel Fifty pound bag, hundred percent whole grain, and I purchased it from Sam's Club, and we just use it. In fact, I'm not sure I'm opening it, but you can see that we don't have a lot left in it. And I make up corn, and the kids take it to school for snacks. So we have. I bought them for them already. And we like to have movie night on the on Friday. They will just in front of the TV longer than usual and watch their cartoons eating popcorn. So that's why we go through it like that. And when you have cooking oil, which is a staple you should invest in as well, if you don't have uh, you are not allergic to peanuts. That's what I use, and it's cheaper to buy the bigger three gallons than to buy a gallon. And extra virgin olive oil for cooking and eating fresh, and the peanut oil for frying and cooking. So you have oils on hand, shelf staples. You have your snacks. We talk about popcorn and peanuts. Peanuts, just for peanuts. And here, I like to go with unsalted roast vegetable, a dollar eighty-nine at Aldi or Walmart. And you can snack on that as well, or we add it to porridge that we make out of wheat berries. And while we are talking about staples, we are going back and forth between fruit of. Uh, freezer staples and shelf staples. We have vinegars, so it's good to have some vinegars on hand as well in your food staples for your salads, depending on the time of the year that you face the scarcity. So it's good to have vinegars as well. And I have talked about cornmeal. So I like to have some on hand from cornbread. And when you have those staples, it's easy to make quick meals at home so for freezer staples like peas when you have peas and then you have meat you can cook you can saute your peas or just steam it you can cook your meat and you make on bread and you have a simple dish that people will enjoy in your house so have build your food supply on budget and work on a year around but if that's an emergency and you, to, you need to have something on hand right now. Those are your basic staples that you should focus on. And don't forget pasta. So if there is any of those staples that you use at home, focus on getting things you use at home. Don't buy staples that you don't use. If you don't like it, it might be a waste of money. So please focus on what you use regularly and stock up on those items so that you have enough food at home during the shortage that we might face at the grocery store. Many people are stocking up at the same time when grocery store usually have enough supply for three days since many people just like to have about three days of food supplies at home now people are shopping for an extended period of time are stocking up for an extended period of time is causing some uh, food shortage in many grocery stores so go get your list done and start shopping 
for your food supply. Thank you for watching. I'm Afia Viojune Marinetti Lieberman, creators of Lieberman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com.